wrong Tell me why, 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 why did I plant a whole forest Just for you to start a fire Did I bake us both bread To hold my mouth open for crumbs And know the weight of our woes Had splintered all my bones Tell me why, 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 why song was uh, written by Kixie, and it's the song Why, 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 Why from the new album, which I believe it's called Slouch. It is about 10 days old at this point. It just came out. Yeah, it is called Slouch. It was released on April 14th, 2023, and I'm utterly obsessed with it. It is a really good album. And it's funny, because I didn't notice this until just learning to play this on acoustic, how much, with it being in 3-4 and with the clever lyrics... There's so much that I want to say, but one of the first things is the lyric. Did I bake us both bread to hold my mouth open for crumbs? That is an incredible visual. It's a very, very clever line, and it was one of the things that brought my attention to this artist. It's like, wow, that's really seriously... It, it stood out in a good way. But it's funny that I'm such a huge fan of Paul Westerberg his solo stuff and you get that same three th three four with the I wanna know I want it's I wanna know can I even remember how to play his stuff like there we go it's I wanna know I wanna know and in that song it was um smoked cigarette butts from your brother's green helmet War in that war once where everyone lost and that like that similar vibe once you transfer it to acoustic guitar, which is interesting because that's not the arrangement on the album at all. Anyway, that's one point that I wanted to try to get out. Um, this album is worth your time, especially if you like me, um, like the variety that here, here's a few things specifically that I especially love about this. Um the chord structures tend to be pretty interesting. Even in a situation like that, where it's mostly a three chord song that, you know, goes to like a fourth chord occasionally, um, you'll have clever lyrics. You'll normally have fun changes in dynamics where it goes from quiet and then everything kicks in. Um, speaking of kicking in, you have moments in the album where there's fun stops and starts. To me, it sounds like good late 90s alternative which is to say that this is an artist who probably would have fit right in in the late 90s on MTV's uh, TV show 120 minutes it would have fit right in with that um, the new album especially uh, but there's another one from all my friends is the previous album 
and it's almost the song that I decided to do was um, I think it's pronounced Ouroboros I love 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 the hook on this to the point where I started learning this and it's this Because it's a uh, capo. I'm like, what's going wrong here? Oh, capo right there. I'm not even a, a, I'm not even addressing the fact thus far that it's been years since I've done anything on this channel. That we'll get to that. The whole point of acoustic song a day was always supposed to be I do a song and it's like a journal entry too, and then you realize that a lot of people were just like shut up and play. Not really interested but i've already performed the song you learn that if you do the song first if people want to skip the journal entry they can do that now and plus i didn't know if i wanted to keep putting myself out there anyway but um ouroboros i love the fact that it's in four four and you get this three four switch where it's cool because it goes from that 4-4 four, four to the 3-4 to the 4-4 four, four seamlessly it's fun that's what I mean it's like fun surprises so good um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep coming back and doing songs for acoustic song a day but if I did you probably won't be the last you hear from me covering Kixie um, I'm utterly obsessed with the new album especially it's so good I hope you go and listen to even just a, a little bit of it. Um, my five favorites by this artist at this time, Ouroboros from All My Friends, and then the other ones are all from Slouch. Um, why, 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 which I just did. I would put that in my top five. I would say Go Getter is one of my favorites, which reminds me of one of my favorite bands, The Dismemberment Plan, which I have the tattoo of their album art on my arm, so there you go. Uh, You're On, which is a, a fun one, and I believe that is a single. So I've mentioned three, four. Yeah, Go Getter, Why, 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 You're On, Ouroboros. And then if I had to pick one more, it would be Sinking In. And to me, that is a great sign when I am struggling to narrow it down to five. I try to pick five songs per artist, and there's sometimes where good luck like finding five good songs that you really enjoy enough to be like, oh my God, yes. This whole album, my goodness. Um, I was going to wait until my vinyl copy, I ordered it on vinyl. I was going to wait and um, I decided to not wait. So that's why I'm here. Anyway, um, yeah, it's been years. My apologies. It may be years again. I don't know. I'll be back maybe in a few days, maybe in a week, maybe in a month, maybe in a year, maybe never. But... Um, I was moved to do this because I adore this album. It is so good. And I hope that you will listen to at least some of it and that you will enjoy it if you do. And I think that's probably a good place to stop. As far as my stuff, oh, I should probably mention a few things with that if I'm talking journal entry style stuff. Um, I have released several albums since the last time that I was on here. I think I'm up to over 20 albums. I was doing a thing on my Glenn Case music YouTube channel called No Fake Friday where I got through about 185 videos where instead of just doing acoustic like you saw there, it'd be bass, drums, acoustic guitar, electric guitar, vocals. And the problem is now that I'm working two hours, two hours, working two hours, I'm going to work for two hours here in a moment. I'm working 60 hours a week between two jobs. So I, it, is not likely that I'm going to get back to doing No Fake Fridays regularly, at least, because there's a lot more time involved on that. I was hoping with Acoustic Song a Day, I can just grab an acoustic guitar, learn how to play a song, sing it, do this like a journal entry, and d decide whether or not I want to continue even putting myself out here. So, we'll, we'll see. But... Either way, hope you enjoyed that. Even if you didn't, I hope you go and check out Kixie's new album because I love it and I hope you will too.